Our focus today will be on lesson 12, looking ahead with Minecraft. I know many of you might be really excited to play Minecraft because I know my son is. Oh my god! Once you click on one, there's a little video that talks more about computer science, which we've talked about in class, but here's another video for you to watch. When you sign to code.org, just click play to watch it. What I'm going to be working through in this video are some puzzles in lesson 12. So I'm going to click X on the top. Here you get to choose your character. This is always a lot of fun. I'm going to say Alex. All right. So when you get to Minecraft, it says add a second move forward block to reach the sheep. Click OK. If you have trouble reading and you or you want to reinforce what you just read, you can click the play button next to the speaker. Click OK. All right, so right here, where Alex is standing, um, he's facing the sheep. So far, looking at my workspace, there is already one move forward block. Just click the X here to close this also. Now it says add a second one, which makes sense, two move forward blocks. So one, two, and he should approach the sheep. One, two. Nice. We're going to continue. All right, in puzzle two, it says, wood is a very important resource. Many things are made from it. Walk to the tree and use the destroy block command to chop it down. So in your block two box, there is a new command block called destroy block. So here's Alex. I know he needs to move forward. Let's see, here he is. Move forward, move forward. Then I want him to cut down the tree. Okay, move forward, move forward, destroy block. So let's see what happens. Also, if you look up here where it says workspace, four out of four blocks are being used. So this tells you how many blocks you're allowed to use. Awesome. All right, good job. I'm actually going to skip over to puzzle six. I want you to try puzzles three, four, and five on your own. And in puzzle six, you get to choose your house floor plan. And if you want to challenge yourself, definitely try the hard one. But if you just really um, want to see what you can do first and then come back to level six, then do that. I'm actually going to click on the medium one. All right. I have put some blocks down, but I'm gonna remove this for a, little, for a second before I go on. When you come to the medium one, they actually put down this set of repeat six times, move forward, place birch planks. So I'm gonna click run to see what happens to this code first. This is a good strategy to use when you are starting with your codes. And if you see codes there, uh, run it first to see what it does. Now. Alex has gotten to the end of my house. Now, what should Alex do? We have to think about left or right. And as we discussed in school, sometimes it's hard to remember, but if we make an L with our pointer finger and our thumb, which one is the same direction as the L? So when you do that, or you can even stand up and pretend you're Alex, hmm, which direction should he face? And he should be facing this way. Um, the right of him. So I'm going to use turn right, which I've already put here. Turn right. And then I know he needs to repeat and put down two more sets of blocks. So I'm going to click reset, run. And while he's doing that, I'm going to look ahead and think about, hmm, which direction does he need to go now? Turn right again and repeat. I'm going to finish this off one two three and when he's standing here he's facing my pointer okay and what direction does he need to turn this time and this time he needs to turn left turn left and then move forward and this time you don't need to put down a repeat block because he's only moving one step over then he needs to turn right again 
and then repeat two times. Move forward, place birch planks, and let's run this one more time. Boys and girls, whenever you get frustrated, in you can take some deep breaths. You can walk away from the project and come back to it later. Sometimes when you walk away, um, it brings a new set of eyes to what you're doing, and that's very useful. Okay, so for project six, we completed. I'm going to click continue. And so I want you to try seven on your own, and I'm going to move on to eight. In puzzle eight, our goal is to avoid creeper, which are these green pixelated monsters, move past them and get into our home. So here he's standing here. I want you to think about the algorithm you would use to get him to his home. You can pause and think before you come back. Okay, so it looks like I think I want him to take this path, this path to get to hit the front door of his home. So uh, you can take any path that you like. He's going to turn left, okay? One, two, three. Okay, move forward three times. Turn right, um, move forward, turn left, move forward two times. And let's see what happens. Oh no. Okay, so I need your help. How can I debug this code? What kind of mistake did I make? How can I fix it? So I'm thinking or already my turn right, it was really turn left. So let's try again. Thanks for helping. Much better. Ah, so after you turn left, I forgot to only move once. Then turn right. And then, got to throw this out, I made a mistake there. So you see, it happens. But I want you to be persistent and keep trying. Awesome. Alrighty. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to skip over to lesson 11. And I want you to try 9 and 10 on your own. Here is another video in 11 to talk about if statements. So if you've seen our video about conditional statements from our previous lessons, it talks about if something happens, then do something else. So you can watch this video when you sign on. I'm gonna click the X button because I want us to try the puzzle together. I'm ready. It's always best to read the instructions here. Lava is hiding beneath some of these blocks, which you'll need to cover up before moving forward. An if command will come in handy here. Add a move forward command in the correct place to mine these blocks. So it looks like we have code here ready. I'm going to click run to see what happens. Ah, uh, destroy block. If there's lava, do place a cobblestone ahead. And Alex is going to be doing this seven times. So in this code, in this code, he's destroying the block. And if there's lava ahead, he's placing the cobblestone ahead. But he's stuck. Oh no, what can we do? After putting move forward in the loop, because it has to repeat in this loop, I'm going to click run. Good job, guys. 
In puzzle eight, our goal is to avoid creeper, which are these green pixelated monsters. Move past them and get into our home. So here he's standing here. I want you to think about the algorithm you would use to get him to his home. You can pause and think before you come back. Okay, so it looks like I think I want him to take this path, this path to get to hit the front door of his home. So uh, you can take any path that you like. He's going to turn left, okay? One, two, three. Okay, move forward three times. Turn right. Um, move forward. Turn left. Move forward two times. And let's see what happens. Oh, no. Okay, so I need your help. How can I debug this code? What kind of mistake did I make? How can I fix it? So I'm thinking or already my turn right, it was really turn left. So let's try again. Thanks for helping much better. Ah, so after you turn left, I forgot to only move once. Then turn right. And then got throw this out. I made a mistake there. So you see it happens. But I want you to be persistent and keep trying. Awesome. Alrighty. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to skip over to lesson 11. And I want you to try 9 and 10 on your own. Here is another video in 11 to talk about if statements. So if you've seen our video about conditional statements from our previous lessons, it talks about if something happens, then do something else. So you can watch this video when you sign on. I'm going to click the X button because I want us to try the puzzle together. I'm ready. It's always best to read the instructions here. Lava is hiding beneath some of these blocks, which you'll need to cover up before moving forward. An if command will come in handy here. Add a move forward command in the correct place to mine these blocks. So it looks like we have code here ready. I'm going to click run. In this code, he's destroying the block. And if there's lava ahead, he's placing the cobblestone ahead. But he's stuck. Oh no. What can we do? I think in, you could pause this video and think about what block is missing. All right. So it looks like I need a move forward block in order for him to keep going and repeating this step. So I'm going to try doing it, putting it right here inside the loop because this is part of what it, part of the action that is being repeated. I'm going to click run. Yay, good job guys. All right, after challenge 11, we're going to move on to 12, which is another challenge. Click I'm ready. All right, so now this is really tricky because you have to mine three redstone, but don't fall in the lava. Use an if command to place cobblestone over any lava you uncover. So right here, this statement I'm looking in my block section and it says, if I see lava, if lava ahead, what should I do? Place cobblestone ahead. So these are the conditional statements that we talked about earlier. 
if lava head do place cobblestone head. So this is something I must do. Now we have to mine three redstone. Now let's look where Alex is standing. It looks like he has to walk one, two, move forward two times. And under here, he would probably have to knock this down. So destroy block would be one of the command blocks we would be using. Okay, so right now I'm just talking, looking at my problem and talking it out loud. This way it can help me process and write my code better. So do steps one at a time. Don't get frustrated. Okay. Destroy. I'm going to destroy block. And I want to see what happens first. Move forward. Oh, awesome. There's one red mine stone. So if I see that, right, um, if lava ahead, this should do the trick. And I'm going to move forward and think further. Um, he would have to turn left here, right? And then move one, two, three, move forward three times. So I'm going to use the repeat block because I don't want to have to right move forward move forward move forward and then i'm going to destroy this block right in front of me and every time i destroy a block in front of me what do i need to do if lava is ahead place cobblestone, cobblestone. all right so far i think it looks pretty good but i'm gonna test myself and check everything by just running my code so far coders run their oh no See, that's why we need to run our code to see areas that we need to debug. So can you help me debug? All right. It looks like he walked. This was good so far, but then he turned I left think, too soon, right? I think we have to do a right. I'm going to try uh, it again. That's what I forgot to do. Ah, and then move forward here. I'm going to turn left again. Okay, if you don't want me to complete this puzzle and you want to try it on your own, please do that. One, two. But if you need to come back to this video for some hints, do that as well, okay? But I really want you to try it on your own. I'm going to run this code. You can fast forward this video or pause it here. Awesome. Now, so I wanted to show you that right here in my workspace, it says 20 out of 14 blocks, which means I've used six extra blocks in my code. So I'm going to look at my code and see if there's something that repeated itself that I could put in a repeat block. So right here, actually, if I put these two side by side, if you would you notice, these are two sets of blocks that repeat itself, which means I could take this repeat block and say two times, insert all of this inside, and I could leave this here to remind myself why I did this, or I could throw it in the trash. But I'm gonna click reset and click run, and it's gonna take me through the same algorithm but I did it more efficiently. And that's what coders love to do. They are, they don't want to write things over and over again. They want to be more efficient. Awesome. Click continue. Now, boys and girls, I want you to try the rest of your, on your own, 13 and 14. And in 14, um, this is your opportunity to build your own creation. So you can watch this video. And then you can work on creating your own creation. Now, uh, the little secret is if you go across this way to the left, there are some sheep here that might need you to help them shear. All right, but that's all I have for you today. Take some time and work on lesson 12. And then there are some lesson 11 challenges if you haven't done those already. All right, talk to you soon.